Peace and love, everyone. It's Takesha of Afro Canna Holistic, and you are watching another session of Black Women Who Blaze. Today, I have a special guest with me who I met through uh, another cannabis community, um, the Moms Tea uh, and Cannabis Community. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, you know, she's, she's definitely um, aligned with a lot of you know, the energy that um, I have in the space. So I wanted to definitely bring her on here. She's an entrepreneur, she's a cannabis advocate and so many other things going on that I feel like it was very important to bring her on to Black Women Who Believe. So welcome Jillian. Hello. Great glow. Okay. Yes, I'm Black coming Women with Who love. Believe. I have the rose quartz. So I'm coming with a lot of love. Yes, of yes. Ooh, yes. ooh. Let's, let's go, let me, let's go, let's, baby. See that? Listen, we, we look, I'm here I, with you. Look, got my Santo Paulo, everything. I ain't playing with y'all. Let's go. Yes, yes, and that's the incense that's burning. It's sage and Santo. So it's yes. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, we in this. We in this. Yes. We together. We in this together, sis. So, um, I'm glad that you agreed to come on because I feel like your story is definitely a compelling story, one that resonates with a lot of us, especially Black women in this industry and and just in our community you know your story really is affect it affects us you know pulls at the heartstrings you know a lot of it and when it, you you experience something um and i mentioned a, a healing circle at one point that i wanted to have for moms and i would love to you know work on something like that with you i would love that it's moms because you know um i have something similar that i experienced not you know, to the extent of what you did, but um, it's, it affects us either way. Yeah, so, yes. you know, I wanted to come on and have you come and share your story and share with everyone else how you got into the industry, you know, your cannabis story and, um, and your wisdom. So I, I truly appreciate it. Well, I want to thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. I've been excited all week. I'm like, yes, I get thank to sit you. with you guys. And, you know, my cannabis story started when, you know, my son, 18 years old, became an angel. And with him transitioning on, the psychiatrist was trying to give me Prozac and everything else, but saying, hey, you can't just get off of these pills. We have to wean you off because it's addictive. Yes. I chose cannabis. Yes. I chose the plant that God delivered on earth for us. He know what he did. He know why he had that here. He know we needed that healing. That's the healing plan. Yeah. You know, without cannabis, I couldn't function. I couldn't sleep at night because I have the trauma of a child being taken away. My only child on the earth being taken away, right? No grandkids at that point. And it's like, okay, what am I going to do? Right? So I had to make a decision, okay, either you're gonna lay here because life just slapped you in the face, right? Reach into your heart and grab it. Are you gonna stand, sit here, or you're gonna get up and you're gonna slap life back in the face? That's right. And, and that's what I decided to do. It took me a year to do it. It didn't happen overnight. You know what I mean? It took me a year to get out of that funk. And you know how I got out of it? I'm laying there, 10 a.m., just wasted. And I heard DeAndre say loud, like he was standing next to me, mom, why don't you go publish your book? Mm. I forgot about the book because it was so wrapped up in my sorrow. I forgot about me. So my coping mechanism was like, as long as I could smoke. And then California came on and became legal. What? Walking in front of the cuffs, buffing, looking at them like, yeah, you can't do that today. <laughs> they be mad too, they be mad. You know what I mean? I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. So cannabis has really kept me in line with what's right. I don't want to forget 18 years of someone's life. I don't want to be in that la la land. That's right. You got to feel to come out of it to grow. That's right. You know what I mean? No matter how tough it is, it just is what it is. Go through your funk and when you get up out the dust, you know what I mean? Dust your shoulders off and then go get them. You know what I mean? So that's the point where I'm at today. So I have a hemp seed product line. I have shampoo, 
conditioner, hair oil, all handmade. Uh, we sell on Amazon. We're all five stars. Thank you, everybody that support us. It's hard to get five stars on Amazon because people That's are always right. talking not please. That's right. You know, I woke up yesterday to two orders, one from Chicago, one from Maryland. So I love it. the shift is moving when you realize that there's more than enough on the table for everybody to eat. If we just release, you know what I mean? That attachment to, well, I don't want her to have, or she can't handle me. If you release it, you realize all of us will be blessed exponentially. And wealth is not just money. Yes. Wealth is your health. Yes. Right? Your mind, your functioning of your mind, your brain, your body. If you can have money and don't have all those other faculties, then you just might as well just give up the ghost because there's nothing you can do. That's so right. once we realize that money is just a tool as well. Yes. Yes. That's where the things that start shifting. Right. You know? Yes, I agree. I agree. And so, you know, you, you that was, there was so much in just that, that short uh, intro that you right. gave us, you know? And so you came to cannabis because you were dealing with grief. Yes. Because you lost your son at 18 years old, your only yes. child. Yes. You know, and when we spoke, you know, previously, I, I wanted to ask, but I said, you know what, you know, she'll reveal, you know, all of those things yeah. um, during the, during the session. And so, right. You know, your only child, you know, during this time you decided to uh, pursue cannabis as an option for your grief, you know, to cope instead right. of the pharmaceuticals that a therapist was uh, wanted to prescribe. Okay. Right. And in that as well, you already uh, authored a book. You already, you already authored a book and you were waiting to publish and you didn't, that was put on hold because of what you were dealing with. And so this propelled you to now publish the book. And what is the title of the book? And the title of the book is Scorching Steam. And it's really conflicting because this book was after I read Seven Shades of Grey. I was like, I could write better than that. <laughs> And I, I don't, I'm nowhere near what I said in my lane did my own thing. You right. know what I mean? And um, I, and I was like, oh, this is, you know, it's a steamy novel. And, no, you know, you always in the back of your mind, what would people think? I had to get out of what would people think? Because it's what would you think? You're in this position. You got to get out of there. Do whatever you got to do to crawl out of this hole. Oh, we're going to have to read that one. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> to read mm -hmm. i'm telling you i swear as a, i have one negative comment from a non-verified purchase and i swear as a family member from the way you read in two pages and you left me a whole paragraph yeah you, this, that was personal right you know, right you, <laughs> you can read through it you like mm, you just read two pages and you just went in on me and uh right 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 you have to deal but i did it and you know what? Even the critique from that person, I republished it, you know? And now I'm very proud of it. You know, I, I also have a children's book for DeAndre. I wrote a poetry yeah. for him. And I just turned it into a picture book. Yes, that's beautiful. That's you know beautiful. What I, mean? I mean, because so, I love tapping into creativity, uh, especially when dealing with grief and in a way to cope. You know, you really are pulling from within and pouring out how you feel and you know and and you found a way to do that um yeah the book I definitely you know both of them you know I, I yeah. definitely want the link so yeah know, morning on the it. scorching steam it pops off from the beginning of the first page so you don't have to wait to get into the text yeah, you're right so it's just like, title that's I'll the way I read it. Yeah, that's the way I read it if you don't get me in the first five pages I'm not going to go to the 30th page to figure out what's going on here. You already lost right. me. So. Right, right. We're going to put that. We're going to put those links. In, we're going to put those links up. Yeah, yes. In the description so you guys can support. And we're going to. Yeah. So let's get a book club and read Jillian's <laughs> book. Okay. <laughs> Let's get Don't this judge me. It is what it is. No, nah, 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 no judgment. Because listen. Yes. The it's, beat, it's, it's art. It's art. It's art. That's right. That's right. We, and when you're creative. It, it, yeah. it so your art comes out in many different ways, many different ways. And so after that, you also developed a hemp derived, a hemp based product line. And yes. so what kind of products um, do you have? So what I have is organic 
shampoo, conditioner, hair oil. Now, guys, I didn't reinvent the wheel, you know, and I, for everybody that's out there saying, oh, God, I can't do that. You can do anything you want. With every product, anything that you're making, there's base shea butter, there's base shampoo, there's base conditioner. Yeah. Buy, spend the money on the organics because there's going to be somebody who's going to test your product. It is what it is. Right, right, right. So just be honest with what you're delivering. And so I get the base and I make it mine. I add my oils. I add, you know, what I researched to grow your hair, to nourish your hair in the heat, in the cold. You yeah. know what I mean? And everything that I purchase is certified organic oils. Certified. And it's made with love, a lot of love. Right. You know, this, you know, when I sent off my two boxes, I put my hands on them and said, Lord, please let this do what it's intended to do for both of them, please. Uh, yeah, that is because me. Because you send love, because whatever energy you give in the world, I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't learn this by now, it's, it's a give and take situation. If you give out that negative, it got to come back. It's just has to, it's just a circle. That's so right. why not just stay in the light? That's right. That's right. You know, get your crystals, get 10 of your crystals, you know, get your stuff, you know, yes. get, you know, get your fertility elephant. That's fertility right. Fertility is not just having a baby fertility in your Thank business. You. Your business got to grow. Yes. What you want to bring these things to you. Stop watching TV. Go read. Yes. 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 Let them know. Let them know. That's exactly. You're right. Educate yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, and dive in, dive into and tap into what your gifts and talents are. So you've been able to do that. And even amongst it during a time where you were, you know, and going through grief and you were able to utilize this as a form of therapy, creativity right. as a form of therapy, you know, yes. stepping out there. And so then it propelled you once you started consuming cannabis and then you created the products what propelled you to uh, further to get further into the cannabis industry? I will be honest with you. My next step was manufacturing. I wanted to bring Caribbean treats to the market, oh. right? But the real estate was never there. So if you're two years looking for something, I will tell you that it was in January. I was sitting in the car and I saw myself running with all these applicants. And I stop and I look at them running and the voice says, do you want to keep going with them or you want to be around and go over here and do something different? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you think you're going to do something, but a direction is, a di and you got to go with it. So yeah. now, <laughs> I'm the, now I'm the first woman in the city of Long Beach to put in a testing lab application. I have my local license. I'm still working on permits for the building. And I'm also in my state application you know, once I wrap up permit, I can get that to the state and we keep moving. So I'm working simultaneously on both applications. Oh, wow. Right. I can do medical and adult. I will be ISO certified, which means I will be the lab that you go to to retest something. I'm my second retest. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and it takes you up to a higher standard. We're taking it all the way to the top. I will be women owned. I'm looking for women in the business, I'm going to empower yes. us. And that's how it's, when you come to our lab, that's what you're going to see is women in there. Powerful. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. And congratulations. Definitely. You. Um, you, you're really showing the different pathways to kind of get involved in the industry um, where you have something where it, it's not necessarily plant touching, you know, but it is. You know, yeah. you still get to be involved in the plant uh, touching aspect of it. But the fact that you decided to come from manufacturing and like you said, edibles and treats and all that. We, we love all the good things. We yeah. know <laughs> that our culture is yeah. the bomb. Yeah. Man, the ball and all all that, 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 yeah. Right. We know. And we know that it will, you know, it, it's going to be like tasty and all of that. But then at the same time, is there a need for it? Is that a luxury? Is it a there luxury or a necessity? Right. right. So you found also a lane where, right, testing. There's, a, there's definitely a need for testing of cannabis, okay? We want safe, lab-tested, and retested if necessary, 
okay? Because we can't believe everything that someone else is telling us. And especially for someone, say, like me, who's home growing. And I went to uh, NECAN, which is the New England Cannabis Convention, and they had some micro labs and some testing places there. Um, there were no, no, there were no black owned. Okay, that's number one. And they definitely weren't, uh, they, I think there was a woman owned, one woman owned, a woman ran. Okay, that's and, good, that's good. Right, but she did not test for people like myself who may be home, uh, medicinal patients in home grow and want to test their cannabis. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it, it's definitely a need. And they said, it, you know, that right now they're working with businesses only, but, you know, they, will, they said it, it, it would be too much to just work with everyone. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that, but that's definitely a lane that, that needs to be created, right? Yes. Because, I mean, even for me, you know, my homie's like, Jillian, I'm like, dude, I, you, either you go and you go through the process of, you know, becoming a licensed, you know, or go through the application process or something to be tested. Right now, that's something that needs to be put out there because that's a market that's untouched. And that particular market, you really want, you really want the home grower to know that their plant is not contaminated with anything. You know, when you're testing, it's not just the THC levels, not just the CBD levels or CB, you know, anything else. It's bodily fluids. Yes. It's metals. Yes. That man went and, you know, used the bathroom and shake and didn't wash his hand and came back and touched the plant. Mm, mm. So what happens is that that machine, it just pulls up everything you can't even hide because it's not me testing it once you put it on the machine you put the certain chem chemical that needs to test for that certain metal or whatever right that's a positive right right for home growing that is critical yes it is it is critical and even craft cannabis like craft growers um in cannabis you know small farms small ba uh, batches and you know i received some you know, and I'm like, a, I'm a Ganjie student, so I'm uh, studying, yeah. I'm a cannabis sommelier, so I'm assessing the plant, I'm looking, I love that. and I seen some, you know, I seen some contaminants on there, and yeah. you know, I had asked, I even asked, I had contact the farmer and even asked, you know, hey, you know, before I assess it and put, and put it out there, you know, I want you to know that this is what I found and sent pictures, and they kind of said, oh, they, you know, that looks like insect, whatever, and you know insect uh, feces, and they also because they're an organic farm, they do grind up whatever bugs or whatever and re kind of purposes, which which I get. Yeah, that, but yeah. That doesn't mean that I want to smoke it, nor would I be able to recommend it to one of my clients as a health coach, especially if somebody has asthma or something, and you yes, adding or they're something dealing with cancer that, that and just... need a clean yeah. flower. Um, you know, even from the dispensary, I have found uh, human hair. You know on the buds and things like that. So it, it's just so amazing, you know, now that I'm learning how to assess it and really be particular about my cannabis yeah. and, and what I can do. You be a good ally. We'll definitely have to work together. We'll yes. have to get some work done because with your education and then, you know, even to teach my staff and help them understand because it's not about just testing the plant. I'll be going, I'll be taking a five hour course on June 4th Mm -hmm. for lab testing, which is going through the full scheme of testing the chemicals and everything five yes. hours straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. And I do it because I, I need to know everything. I don't need somebody to tell me how to run the business. I need to know how to run the business. I yes. can't depend on a lab technician. I'm going to be the lab technician. Stop playing with me. Yeah, so if right. you don't show up for me, I'm going to show up for myself because I've been let down so many times. I can't depend on you. <laughs> your, your accent, your accent to the deal. <laughs> That is something that we do. I'm, and, you know, I'm, I'm noticing that's something that we do as Black women, where we yeah. know that we do have to know the age. With all the hats. Right. Mm -hmm. we are, because, you know, we want to make sure that it's efficient. And the fact is that we're scrutinized so much that any little area where other people are permitted to whatever, and we see this with Black businesses, yeah. where we'll go to a Black business um, black owned business and it should, it should just be a business but it, it seems like when it's a black owned business we'll go and the service may be not up to the the, right. the standard that the we, right that we feel like it should be and we'll say I'm never going back but I'll go to a Panera 
a Panera bread. It just seems it will be nice. Right. They'll be nice yeah. or or I'll get sub I'll get a poor qualities. It might have somebody that day that's having a bad day or whatever. Right. And you know, the service sucks, the food was prepared poorly. And I'll complain, you know, I'll complain, but I wind up going back to Panera. You yeah. understand? So why yeah, is it that we do somebody? That? Because you know what? Oh, you're awesome. You're awesome. So I was listening to something yesterday and they said that we, we are slaves to things that we do. We are slaves to it. Like for me, I'm jamming my music, but when I put up to the light, I turn it down. What you turn it down for? Right. Right. And I realized when I realized that happened, I'm like, what are you doing that for? Right. You being mindful of who? If you jam, if they jam it, they don't turn it down for you. <laughs> right. Right. Girl, play your reggaeton and keep going. <laughs> You know what I mean? I think we're sl- once we realize, once we start growing, we start realizing our habits because we're starting to break them now. Right. So that's what that's it is. Right. That we, we've been yeah, conditioned. Right. We definitely been conditioned, and like you said, as as black women, we've been conditioned to wear all of the hats, and so it, it is hard to kind of release that also control where we don't have to micromanage every single aspect, yeah. but. We do know that we have to be aware. This is why you'll see us be the most educated group in the yes. world because we will go for the, 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 the BA, the MA, the PhD, the doctorate, whatever so it is. I- so we know the ins and outs of it. But once we get that education, now we have to start implementing it with creating businesses and, and putting people to work instead of t- getting that level of education and still having a boss or a, 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 or so, an employer telling us what to do when now we've been more educated than they have been. You know what I mean? So I agree, you know, I'm one, even when I was looking to open a salon as a cosmetologist, I knew that I had to know every aspect of the business so they can be trained to the quality that I wanted them to yeah. uh, and the standard that I wanted them to be at. But also, if I had to fill that role, I could do it. See? That's right. Because you know what? You can't leave yourself out there like that. Now, you you know everything because at that point, you're confident when you train, you can delegate. I can walk away and take a trip and go to Nevada and do the expo. <laughs> yes. Knowing that everything's still running here. It's yes. the seeds that you sow, but it's also how you treat people. Yeah. I don't want you to be my employee for 150 years, boo. <laughs> right. If you have something else you want, if you want to grow and you really want to grow, as we open other labs, you grow with us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If that's what you want to do. But if you really have a passion for flower, for a flower shop, and you just really in here just trying to make it till you, okay, well, let's get you right. to where you need to go. Let me help you open your flower shop, mm-hmm. right? Of course, I'm going to take equity. I'm giving you a hundred thousand dollars, so I'm taking only ten percent. But here's the but deal. But that's that's how it works. But here's the deal, because I want us to have ownership, right? Minority ownership, because I want that so much. When you get up to the point that you're successful, buy me out completely, so you owe a hundred percent of your business. I'll move on to help the next person. That makes. Then I move on to help the next person. So I'm just flipping that money, just helping other people. Right. You and it creates saying? a model as well mm-hmm. for the person that you help to now follow and be right. able to do the same thing because yeah. that's what it takes. Like you said, you know, hey, I may not be able to, when I'm starting up, you know, pay you, uh, you know, currency, but I can establish, uh, you know, a space for you in the company where you have equity. You know what I mean? So now you have a stake in this. And you want to see it grow. You want to see it. Yeah. Grow. You want to see it. Yeah. Grow because, yeah. because now it's it's also sustaining you. I saw, um, right. you know, I follow uh, Chef Babette. You know, she's in L- LA. Mm-hmm. She has the, yeah. she's vegan. She's like 71, 72 years old. Beautiful. Um, and she- I need to check her out. Yes, she created, uh, she has a, a restaurant called Stuff I Eat. You know, Stuff I Eat. And it's like vegan, but it's so full type. Right. And Hmm. she first started in a church parking lot, popped open a tent, you know, and started there. And she she had said that one of the women that are with her today 
start believed in her so much that she stayed with her till she opened up her space and all that and she gave her equity in the in the company mm -hmm. once she opened up her space and i said that is the idea that's the best way you know to because okay this woman believed in your mission so much that she wanted to be a part of it and she didn't have maybe a dream of opening and doing her own thing but like you said you don't want somebody as an employee for a hundred years, you know, I have the dream to go open up your own, but having equity in the space, in the, in the business gives you some sustainability and gives you a piece of that business that you have been so loyal to. You better believe it. Mm -hmm. Here's what I, here is how my platform is written for my staff, not my staff, my family that I'm grooming. Right. For the ones I'm going to help, the, the, the help is going to come with them first and their dreams and what they want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, as the company, the first year of the company, you're finding your way, you're paying your bills, you're paying for machinery, you're paying your, your staff. By the second time, by the second year, you are functional. You are fully profitable. Not to say you're not profitable in the fully first year as cannabis, but you're learning your groove, right? right? By the time the second year you're profitable, the staff that stay there, Every quarter, we are on bonus, boo. What? Every other Friday, we out. <laughs> it's, it's how I run it. It's our business. So we know that on the Fridays that we off, we work 10-hour days, Monday through Thursday. Right. To get the, get the stuff in. That's right. And it's understood that, you know, you know, your vendors and everybody you're working with, your business partners, they all know that these are our days. There's no in-between. Don't call us. We are on the beach. I'll find everybody out. We yes. in Hawaii. That's right. That's what right. What y'all doing? We're going to be back on Monday, though. <laughs> right. Right. If, if you take care of people, they will take care of you. It's going to be somebody you will fire. Understand that because it's somebody who will push it. Somebody who may not respect you as a woman in business. Right. That's why I say I'm hiring all women. I'm checking your temperature because really you coming into an interview with incense burning and ca ca candles and the you know, a whole bowl <laughs> full of crystals on the thing. So if that That's didn't right. scare you and you come back for the second interview, That's I know right. your blood can handle this because honey, we, we roll with the lights. Right, right. Because it's about you know the, I mean? the frequency up in here. And so <laughs> we, we keep <laughs> like, right, we keep it high vibrational. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> so I agree. I agree. And so you got, you're you located in Long Beach. And so the testing center, the testing facility will right. be located in Long Beach. Wow. So we're looking at right in Long Beach, and guess where we at? We're right in the hood. Mm. The way that they mapped it out, see, they mapped it out for us to fail. Mm. Mm -hmm. So there is bullet holes in my retail uh, glass. Wow. So what I what I'm building out on the inside is a bank teller system. So when you come through the door, you take two steps and you slide whatever you need underneath that little, you know, the bank teller, how you have to, right. You can't even get into the, there's yeah, an electric door right there. Teller. You start That's playing with up. me. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all want to take it to the Jeffersons? We going to act up. Right. <laughs> Security, everything. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I agree. Okay. And so, I mean, this is going to be awesome because you're going to, you're bringing it to your community where you also providing jobs and this is what we this is why we um are coming into the industry not just because hey we want to be involved in recreationally but also for economic uh development yes. and regenerational wealth we but this yeah. is an opportunity uh, to get involved in an industry where we can bring in economic development into a community where we can start to have ownership in you know, we don't, and that's what it is. We haven't established any communities where we own the whole block. That's why I love the buy the, uh, right. buy the block movement and things like that. It's time and can yes. be the industry. And, and we, and it's two of us on that block. It's two of us on that block, two females on that block. Wow. One me, the testing, one uh, a dispensary is what she wants to do. So it's two of us on that block and we're not playing with none of them. Right. And I mean, look, Here's the thing with the hood. As long as you respect them, they'll respect you. I don't disrespect you. Right. You know, I have a crackhead come up by my door and he looking through my little gate. And I'm like, <laughs> what, what, what? Or oh, no, 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 Solani. And he gone. But it's the way you, you got to know when to flap and you got to know when to keep the temperature to a certain level. You know what I mean? I talk to all the neighbors over there. Hi, how you doing? How's the baby? Yes, right. because 
as long as you in their community, you need to be a part of it as well. Right. You can't come in there with your nose up like, yeah, I'm in the canvas and I can, uh, they will get you. <laughs> yes, you, yes. You might want to humble yourself when you right. get Right, well, we there. see what's happening yeah. in areas like Oakland. Yes. You know, where, do we see what's happening? And this is why I feel like it's important. And I approached a couple of dispensaries. What are you doing to give back to the communities that now you are, you, you know, you're, you're getting money from? Because if you feed them, they will, they will shut. I, I bet you nobody can come in that block and touch us. Thank you. If Thank you take care of them, let me, isn't it? I keep telling people life is an exchange of services. You want that man money, you got to give that money, a, that man a good service. If That's it's right. goods, you got to give him them goods good. If you know what I mean? That's Everything right. you do with, with integrity. With That's having right. a cannabis lab, integrity is being written on the wall. Something you do when even when nobody is looking. Thank you. My, my staff will see that. So you understand, don't pass somebody that did not pass. That's right. That's right. Because real is Dre Globe Laboratories. When you hit that scan, that QR code, when mm -hmm. the customers, yeah, it's Dre Globe Laboratory was scanned on this, you know, tested on this day for da 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 da. That's don't, right. don't. Right. That's right. somebody's life. That's somebody's That's grandma. Right. That's somebody's grandfather. That's, That's somebody right. that need that to help them with even cancer or whatever that yeah. they have that he's in the pain more than the pharmaceuticals. So don't take them away from them. So for me, it's just integrity, integrity. So God say, yeah, I know you thought you was going to make that red mango and them time, brown bowl and that and charm, <laughs> but uh, I put it you this way. Uh, well, you still, be, that, be, you will still be able to I will that, still right. Be. And, you, and that's the thing is, he didn't say I can't do it. He said, for this time, I need you here. Yes. And with being here, you can move over there because you have to have an exit plan in everything you do. This is true. This is true. This is true. I mean, I thought that I'd be coming in as an infusion artist, making all sorts of delicious, delectable, uh, you know, edibles and things like that. And, you know, no, I came, I'm coming in in the uh, advocacy space, in the educating space, in the assessment space of quality flower. Um, right. You know, I, I may get into, you know, craft growing, like craft cannabis, meaning for myself. Right. Um, and teaching others how right. to, to do that. I mean, you already got a job at Dre Glow because I would need you to, <laughs> to come and do sessions. We just need sessions of understanding. People yes. need to understand the science of it. Yes, yes. So the health, the health benefits. And the health benefits yes, of it. Yes, the health benefits. And so, um, yeah, and, and now even, you know, uh, CCI, the Cannabis Coaching Institute that I got a scholarship at, you know, now brought me on as a grad mentor, you know, so now yes. I'm, now I'm, you know, guiding other students through the program and supporting them uh, as well. So you can get involved in the industry in I'm, so many different ways. Um, and, but the first, like you said, the key is to educate yourself about the plant, you yeah. know, what, what you're getting into and the industry, you know, so tonight I have the cannabis policy research group uh, starting and we will be diving into the policies in uh, federally and state local yes. policies and see where they have the, the holes in them, you know, what, uh, what's out of balance, what we need to, to speak up about and advocate for. Uh, so a small group of people who um, are cannabis entrepreneurs, advocates and employees and, and really want to uh, dive into the policy because this is important because compliance yeah. And what you're doing in testing, you know, right now in Connecticut, they are, uh, there's a law about to allow them to have uh, more mold, you know, pass, you know, yeah. so the, the plant can have a certain amount of mold uh, in, in, and still pass and be consumable. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And not to you, you're telling me in my face, you're just killing me and you don't care. Thank so you. one thing with California, everything, so all my tests are linked to the track and trace system from seed mm -hmm. to sale, seed to sale mm -hmm. all the way in the middle is testing. And depending on your testing is if you go to lab. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you go to a dispensary, if you go to the dispensary, if you, oh, okay. depending okay. On, if you go to the dispensary, that's depending on your testing. Right. What you test for. Right. Right. Now, 
where you would be needed here, especially for social equity, that's a whole nother subject we have to talk about with the city. And, you know, it's the education background of it. Because I'm sure my sister that has a dispensary <laughs> wants you to be able to come in. And right. so that's something that you need to start thinking about your price point, especially when it comes to travel, your accommodations should always be taken care of. Yeah. And then your time, you know, so prepare yourself because I see you as moving around. I see you traveling. That's why I told you the other day when we were talking, I'm like, don't be scared to move because there's a spirit to just tell me, yeah, she'll probably pull here. She'll pull there, but you're educated at heart. But still, we want to do the cooking class. Yes, yes, yes. We want to do the cooking class too. Yes, we do. We so love whatever it. training I need to get for us to get on the platform where we on, you know, TV doing, showing them how we do it outside. <laughs> we, this is, look, life is as big as you want, as you dream. That's right. That's right. That's why you speak in my language. And um, someone asked me the other day, you know, what is it that you do? She's like, I know you won, you know, awards and you're up for awards. So, but I really don't know, you know, what you do. And, you know, I was speaking to um, an audience and letting them know that what black women are experiencing in, in this space. And, yeah. you know, we not only um, are, are looking for access and, and funding and, and really uh, education, but we also fighting on the other hand, for visibility and advocating yes. for ourselves just to be here, just, yes. to be, just to exist. So it's a lot of work, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot on our shoulders. And so when she asked me, what are you doing? I said, just say everything. You yeah. Understand? <laughs> Let's be yeah. sure because yeah. that's how we are. And that's what we yeah. do. Yeah. You know, we don't have the luxury of not doing that, you know, and oftentimes we are alone and, you know, even when married, you know, yeah, yeah. Even when married, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You still, you I mean, yeah. I mean, look, I mean, even that's why you got to believe in yourself because nobody really can believe in you. And then why should they? This is not their dream; it's yours. When you take it down that simple, you'd be like, "Yeah, mm -hmm, okay, I understand." Because your light, people will try to dim it when they see it. They're like, "Oh, she's shining so bright," but just let me let her know she ain't gonna be nothing. Yeah, right. This mm -hmm. is what not being done look like. We are bosses. That's right. In a space That's right. that we are needed. That's and right. and look, you're way on the East Coast. I'm over here on the West Coast. And the connection is like, we've been talking for a hundred years. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was a time for our spirits to align and move on the same level. Because I told the universe, I have to build a team. I have to build a team of credible people, credible women, women who are passionate about the plan. Yeah. You can't just come with your degree from New York City talking about, hey, Jillian, no, boo. <laughs> Listen, I never heard on you on no platform. Right. I'm looking for the, the spirit, the spirit. Once you get to the spirit and you start aligning, there is no argument. Everybody know they lame. That's One right. thing I love about this group, the Long Beach Social Equity Entrepreneurs, we call LBC. Okay. Everybody have a lane. That's right. Everybody have a lane. I know I'm handling the PR. I, you know, somebody else is handling the letter we need to send to the city. We have, you know, uh, legal aid helping us. You know, somebody else is doing the research on this. So everybody, when we come together, okay, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Yes. Everybody respected as bosses. Yes. Yes. Nobody runs nothing. That's right. We all align as one. That's right. You know, that's so right. that's, yeah, that's just, uh, that's what you're looking for. And that's who you want to continue rolling with. Everybody yes. have their own individual businesses. Yes. We just want everybody to succeed. That's right. That is what we're here for. You know, right. We want, we, we that's what we want. We want a balanced playing field. You know, yeah. we want everybody to have the opportunity who, like you said, um, advocates for the plan, you know, because you have those who are here for the money grab. Yeah, you know, we know you have those who are come, you know go quick. right, yeah, right, and that's what I was saying to another per, uh, uh, person in the industry. I was I don't know that event, you know, soon the dust will clear. It's all <laughs> exciting and all the things now, you know. It's like ooh, 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 but the dust will settle, and you'll see who's still standing there. Yeah, and those are the people who are here for the plan and the people and yeah. the health benefits of it and what the plan is here to do on the planet. You know, you got to have a practice. 
<laughs> if you moving through life for money, you already lost. I'm telling you, it will come. Yes. But as quick as it come, it, you, it will just fly out your hand. Yes. 